Welcome to the Warframe Weapon Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Broken War. Now to begin with, you can get the Broken War from the Second Dream quest, but there are other ways to get it as well. Shadow Stalker will drop you the blueprint, and the other two parts are dropped by various different sentients and can also be purchased from Cephalon Simeris for 50,000 standing each. The parts you're looking for are the War Blade as well as the War Held. The Broken War is a Mastery Rank 10 single sword and it is a nasty little thing indeed. It does almost entirely slash damage with only a little bit of impact and puncture on the side. It has solid enough attack speed, some of the best crit stats you will find on single handed swords while also having good status. Which means that your build is most likely going to be focused around being hybrid with Viral and Slash. Now I personally chose this setup right here with Carnes Mandible and Drifting Contact so I have some inbuilt combo duration and I don't have to run Naramon and I have even more slash via Karnis Mandible. But if you're running Naramon and you really don't worry about combo duration, you can actually take out Drifting Contact and replace it with Weeping Wounds for even more status scaling and you can even replace the slash bonus from Karnis Mandible with some heat damage so you have slash, viral and heat. Now it shouldn't be that much of a surprise that a build like this on a weapon like this will shred through absolutely everything. This weapon is a crit machine and when you combine that with solid enough status that can reliably proc slash and viral you get an absolute monstrosity of a weapon. Basically the broken war has everything you would want a melee weapon to have, it is fantastic. There aren't that many weapons that can do what the Broken War can do as well as the Broken War does it. It's just a fantastic melee weapon that doesn't really have a downside. The only downside I can think of is that it's a sword and you might not like swords. But that's more to do with the stance rather than the weapon. This is an endgame weapon through and through. It does amazing damage that scales really well because it's almost entirely slash and viral. So if you're looking for something that will comfortably carry you not just through the star chart or even sorties but steel path as well, this is one of those weapons. It also has this weird though somewhat useless unique property to it where with most swords if you don't equip a stance they will default to the standard sword move set, but the Broken War actually defaults to the Vengeful Revenant. Not that that's something you would necessarily want to do because you would lose a lot of mod capacity. So I'm absolutely 100% going to recommend you invest into the Broken War if you like it because this is a weapon that can easily stick with you throughout the entire game. You basically never have to unequip it ever again and you'll be just fine. It's just really, really strong and fun and it looks cool as well. So once again, definitely give it a shot. And that is pretty much all I wanted to say. So I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful and I will see you some other time. Bye bye.